阿富汗政局变天，举世关注。民兵组织塔利班攻陷首都喀布尔，宣布建立阿富汗伊斯兰酋长国。欧洲近来爆发新一波难民危机，波兰邻国白俄罗斯的边界出现大批难民企图穿越，波兰在边界部署军警，严阵以待。土耳其货币里拉汇价拉警报，手中的里拉越来越薄，外币涨得凶，连带推升上百项民生物资价格，民众深刻感受到今天没买，明天就买不起的惨况。中国房地产开发巨擘恒大集团爆发财务危机，债务规模高达新台币约八点五兆元，震荡了中国金融和房地产圈。We have to know where did it come from, in order to draw the right lessons and to develop the right tools to make sure that this will never happen again. 提到中国的权力核心，所以中共一定要包庇性侵者。但他越近身，越多人会看穿他们的畏惧。The Biden administration will not send any diplomatic or official representation to the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics, given the PRC's ongoing genocide and crimes against、uh, humanity in Xinjiang. 